Today we're finding out if my $1,000 TCG player investment was worth it. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. One year ago today-ish, I bought $1,000 worth of cards on TCG Player. Throughout this year, we've been checking to see how my investment has been doing, and so far, it has not been that great. We kind of picked a bad year to uh, invest in cards because at the beginning of the year, they're pretty hot, and they've definitely cooled down since we started. But in this video, once and for all, we're gonna find out if my investment paid off. We will be having a giveaway today as well. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below if you think my picks were worth it or not. If not, tell me some I should invest in maybe next year. Maybe we could try this again, or maybe we'll change it up a little bit. Let me know any ideas for that in the comments. The winner will get a $50 TCG player gift card, and if you're international, I'll probably send you 50 bucks because you don't have TCG player. All right, let's hop right into it and let's see what we've done. So here's our spreadsheet. We have all of our cards that we bought. Some of them came in at uh, light play condition i probably should have returned them that would have helped our investment a little bit but here are all the stuff we have the original costs are all right here then on may 12th we checked in on the prices we kind of had an update there then uh, later in uh, august august 1st we checked in and on as well so now it is december 20th so i'm doing this a little bit early due to logistics and all that stuff uh the holidays so i'm recording it slightly early it hasn't technically been a full year but it's been uh, 10 days short 11 days short so we're very close first we're going to check on the blue eyes white dragon so as i mentioned before in these other videos go check out the playlist if you want to see all the updates of like the first video and then the, the check-ins on it and then you could finish with this one if you want but uh or you can go back to them later but i've talked about this before this is the only ultimate rare printing of the blue eyes white dragon in english so very cool that's kind of well, that was what, what our idea was investing in it oh yeah it's the first ever you know the only one so let's check check out on it i think we got a near mint unlimited that is now four dollars and 75 cents let's see originally we bought it at seven dollars and 94 cents so it is down so yeah, that's not good. We also bought a first edition ulti. It was supposed to be near mint. It came light play, but we're going to check it out. Uh, that being light play definitely hurt us in that one. First edition near mint is, let's check light play first, $5.40. Yeah, terrible, terrible, because near mint is up at, that's Italian, so that one doesn't count, $18.69. That's a lot higher, obviously. Then we spent $25.99, so we got absolutely killed on that one. Definitely not good. For the light play, what was it? five dollars and 40 cents so we definitely got hurt a lot on that one so as you can see we lost about 80 percent of our money on the first edition one a lot of that was due to it being you know the wrong condition we didn't return it but also it did it went down anyway we down like 12 bucks or 10 bucks something anyway this one we lost 40 percent of our money so like this is these are horrible numbers like this is a big big loss like if you put something into a stock or something like that this looks like crypto numbers let's be honest let's let's say it how it is this looks like if you put your money in ftx or something this is this is what would happen all right so let's hope something else is better silent swordsman was another one that we ordered and it came light play unfortunately near men i think we'd actually probably be doing good on that one let's check it out silent swordsman level five ultimate rare this is lightly played all right here we are silent swordsman level five ultimate rare flaming eternity so this one came light play we got first edition 3125 let's see what it would be if it was near men which was what it was supposed to be oh we'd be doing so much better 143 dollars uh, but unfortunately, ours is light play, so 31.25. So we go 31.25. That puts us at losing $55. We lost 64% of our money. If it was actually the right condition, though, we would have made $50, which would be so much better. And that actually would have made up for the other two. So that's kind of a bummer. If I just returned it and bought one that was actually in rent, you know, we'd be in a lot better shape. The next one's Leviathan. I know that this has gone way down, but we're going to check it out and see yeah, what it's at. All right, Leviathan Dragon. Let's see what it's at. $55. No, 55. So we spent double what it is now. 109.95 is what we spent. Uh, even in May, it was more than this. It's gone down steadily. So it was at 65. So it went way down. Then it went to 62. Now it's at 55. This card just keeps getting cheaper. I don't understand. It's not that easy to pull. That is insane. We lost $55 and we spent, you know, it's 55 now. We literally lost half. We lost 50% of our money almost right on the dot. So far, our total loss is not looking so good. All right, next up, Lightning Storm Starlight. I have a little hope for this one. Maybe this one's gone up. I think at one point it did, and then it went back down. Lightning Storm. Let's see if we can find it. Come on, please be, please be good, Lightning Storm. Be good to us. It just had a reprint, so probably not. Near Mint First Edition, 290. I think we might have spent more than that. How much was it? 298. Oh no. 
290. So on this one, we only lost $8, which was 2.8% of our money. It's about the same as what it started at. So it really hasn't lost that much money, which is good, I guess, but it hasn't made anything back. So, so far we're negative on literally every purchase so far. We don't have a plus on any of them. We're gonna have to keep this in mind for next year when we decide what we're gonna buy. Okay, so, so far, uh, not looking good. Let's go to Solemn Morning. This is an unlimited ulti. So we went unlimited on this one. A interesting decision not to go first dead. I don't think I had enough money at that point to go first dead because first deads are crazy on this card. Come on, be something decent. Come on, near me. I think we spent like 70 on this. Oh, 5246. Oh, 5246. We spent 69.68. This is steadily. Okay, this one went down and came back up. Look at the lightning storm. This thing was way expensive and it came all the way back down. Oh. So we lost 17%, $24.7% of our money. So far, we are down 56% of our money that we've paid. That is not, not good. Evil Hero with Dust and Gold, I know, is not going to help either. So let's see what that got. Okay, Brothers of Legend, a dusted gold. Wait, what? Oh, no, this one threw me off because they do direct and they put like this crazy price up there, which is like a terrible price. The, you know, $350 and they're, put, they're advertising a $9 one, which is annoying. I was like, well, it might have gone up. No, $350, it didn't go up. Gave me hope, TCG player. You gave me hope for no reason. We lost... We spent $12.99. Oh, we lost 73% of our money on that one. Oh my goodness, this has been absolutely terrible. We only have three things left and we have not made any money on a single one. I'm not feeling too good about this. This is gonna be a disastrous end. Like it's gotten much worse because normally we at least have a couple that have made money. Like Lightning Storm made 66 bucks last time, which was pretty solid. And everything else was kind of bad, but Lightning Storm this year lost money, so not good, or at least this time. Elemental Hero Stratos, come on, the ulti. We gotta believe in the hero players. Come on, hero players, let's go. Elemental Hero Stratos, come on, baby. Ultimate Rare, please. Oh, no, look at that. This is us all here. Getting crushed, oh, no. 133.99, oh, no, it's gone down. We've lost 16 bucks, aka 10.67% of our money. This is bad, we've lost 42.4% of our money. This is not going well at all, guys. This is not going well. Two more items. We need to at least make money on one of these, right? Two more items. Send me some luck in the comments. I'm going to need it. Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon Near Mint Ghost Rare First Edition. Let's see what it is. Okay, come on. First Edition Near Mint. 160. Maybe that went up. <gasps> yes! We made money! This thing went up $21, 15%. So it looks like Near Mint First Edition Ghost Rares. So far, the best thing because, I mean, look at our Starlight. Stayed pretty even, so not too bad. Ultis, we kind of got waxed on those. Some of that was because of the condition. I think the Ulti Silent Swordsman actually would be up, so that would be pretty good. The Stratos uh, fell down a little bit, but it's not doing too bad. So, yeah, the Astrals, not great. So that one was really bad. We're down to one thing left. So far, we've lost 26.4% of our money. That definitely helped a lot in terms of the percentage. Warriors Triumph deck. Let's see if it's gone up or if there's even anyone listed any in the last year. All right, Warriors Triumph Structure Deck. It is still $100. I think that's exactly what we paid, right? We paid $99.74. So we technically made 26 cents on this. That's 0.00261% increase. Not bad. We'll take it because, I mean, we'll take positive where we can get it. That means that we invested $1,063 and we ended up with $836.35. So we ended up losing $164, 16.4% of our money. When you're looking at an investment and you lose 16%, that is not good. Now we do have to keep in account that like the trading card scene has definitely fallen in terms of value and a lot of the stuff has gone down, which, you know, that happens. And maybe this next year will be a better year to invest because the prices are lower now. So we could potentially actually have some increase. So I'm considering that if we do this again, let me know in the comments if you want me to do this again. I've had a lot of fun checking on this and I, I kind of want a second shot at it because I feel like we picked some stuff that I shouldn't have picked last year and I kind of want to pick some better stuff. So if we should do this again let me know let me know what you think about my picks so far some of you guys have told me in the last few videos what you thought and it's definitely gotten worse throughout the year you can see the first check-in we actually made 27 bucks which was awesome and then we the next time it was down to 935 and now it's down to 836 so it it's not going well and also maybe we could do this like monthly potentially i don't know if we could do it a little bit more often just to kind of see the variance a little bit better but i can't believe it's been a year since we started this it's actually insane so I've had a good time doing this. It's been a fun experiment. We didn't do that well though. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content and let me know down below what you think about it. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Miss Cycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, Ananda Tai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace.